Hi everyone. Today we will discuss the exercises of chapter 1. My body of class 4 science. Let's start with question A. Fill in the blanks of something to know. 1. The body organs that cannot be seen from outside are called internal organs. 2. Flat teeth are in the front of the mouth. 3. Tongue is used for tasting and speaking. 4. Saliva is secreted by salivary glands. 5. Flies can transfer germs to uncovered food. Question B. Match the following. 1. Milk teeth. Milk teeth are 20 in number. 2. Large intestine. The walls of large intestine absorb water. 3. Permanent teeth. Permanent teeth are 32 in number. 4. Rectum. The undigested waste is collected in the rectum. 5. Small intestine. The walls of small intestine absorb the digested food. Question C. Take the correct option. 1. The teeth used to tear food into pieces are known as Option A. Incisors Option B. Canines Option C. Molars Option D. Premolars Option B. Canines Canines are used to tear food into pieces. 2. Ria's mother is 32 years old. She is likely to have Option A. 20 permanent teeth Option B. 20 temporary teeth Option C. 32 permanent teeth Option D. 32 temporary teeth Here option C is correct. 32 permanent teeth 3. The organ which secretes digestive juices in the small intestine is the Option A. Liver Option B. Salivary glands Option C. Stomach Option D. Foot pipe Your option A is correct. Liver 4. The foot gets completely digested in the Option A. Mouth Option B. Stomach Option C. Small intestine Option D. Large intestine Your option C is correct. Small intestine 5. An 8 year old child is likely to have Option A. Only temporary teeth Option B. Only permanent teeth Option C. Both temporary and permanent teeth Option D. No teeth at all Here option C is correct An 8 year old child is likely to have both temporary and permanent teeth Question D. Answer the following questions in brief 1. Name the organ through which the foot enters the stomach. The foot enters the stomach through the foot pipe. 2. How many sets of teeth are formed during one's lifetime? Two sets of teeth are formed during one's lifetime. They are milk teeth and permanent teeth. 3. Write any one difference between milk teeth and permanent teeth. Milk teeth are 20 in number and permanent teeth are 32 in number. 4. What do you mean by the term digestion? The process of breaking down a food into simpler form in our digestive system is called digestion. 5. What happens to the food when it enters the stomach? When the food enters the stomach, it mixes with digestive juices secreted by the walls of the stomach. The food is partially digested here. Question E. Answer the following questions. 1. List 5 good habits that should be taken 
care of a time of eating food following are the five good habits we should wash hands before eating we should chew the food properly we should not speak while eating we should take food at fixed intervals we should always take a balanced diet question 2 name different types of teeth present in mouth also mention their functions different types of teeth present in mouth are flat teeth they are also known as incisors and they are used for cutting and biting the food second pointed teeth they are known as canines and they are used for tearing the food third broad and grooved teeth they are known as premolars and molars they are used for chewing and grinding the food question 3 why is it important to chew the food properly chewing is important as it grinds the food and mixes it with saliva which helps in proper digestion of food question 4 why is washing of fruits and vegetables important for us Washing of fruits and vegetables is important for us because unwashed fruits and vegetables carry germs and dirt which cause diseases. Question 5. Shina's mother often tells her not to eat too many sweets and chocolates. Why do you think she says so? I think she says so because sugar and bacteria can cause tooth decay. if they are left on the teeth for long and we all know that sweets and chocolates contain sugar question 6 complete the given food path digestion of food begins when we put the food in our mouth from the mouth the food goes into the food pipe and enters the stomach the food is partially digested here from stomach the food is passed into the small intestine the walls of small intestine absorb the digested food and the undigested food passes into the large intestine the walls of large intestine absorb water from it then the undigested semi solid waste is collected in the rectum and is eliminated through anus thank you